I'm Am Van Day. I'm a writer, artist, signed publishing to Universal and my records to Island. First started writing songs and stuff when I started playing guitar when I was like eight or nine and my um, guitar lessons basically turned into kind of me me going to my guitar teacher with like different melodies and stuff and um, different ideas and like I think it was a bit of a pro uh, procrastination thing because it was like I couldn't learn um, like the really difficult things so I was like oh fuck it I'll just like uh, I'll learn what I want like I'll just make things up and um, it like I owned that in in that kind of way so that's I think that's how I started writing songs um, and then I started doing a bit of gigging and kind of um, like I was singing in church and stuff at that time so like these kind of profound concepts were like in uh, instilled in like my everyday life and stuff so I would end up writing these really morbid songs um, <laughs> when I was like eight or nine and I look back now and think fuck what was I what was I going through then <laughs> I think that's what makes it like interesting is like and and what particularly makes your stuff unique is your perspective and like your voice on things so I think like just by doing it a lot you start to dig out kind of what you what you're really saying and how you're saying it and that like makes you unique as a writer when I was with my manager I was writing for other people for like two years completely just didn't really do my artist project at all so I just wanted to get that experience and um, I think like writing for other people you are you, you are, you're almost like guiding their story in a way so you, you're not kind of as attached to it and you're not as like locked in whereas when you're an artist you're sat there in the room you're like oh god like this this has to stand for like who I am or, or my voice or you, you know you feel a bit more attached to it. Collaboration was like the most important thing for me in terms of progressing. Usually two brains are better than one unless you're on a stream of consciousness where you're just like you need to get something out and and I think some of my best songs have been like that where I've just been in with a producer where I just need to get something out and you're like what happened in that hour you listen to it back and you're like oh shit I can't believe like you know I did that I wasn't even thinking for my artist project I have particular concepts I want to talk about um, and my artist project revolves around certain themes like mental health and they're quite kind of uh, topics that are introverted kind of things like talking quite um, like about just a, like about myself rather than like other people or like situations or like love or whatever uh, but if you're if going in as a writer I think like I think it's always I mean I, I, I would ha I could go in with concepts as like backup plan but I think it's always great to like listen to the artist first and, that, and then kind of feel it out uh, so I think it's different for different situations. When I get writer's block, I think it's always good to just to take a break, go outside, try and take your mind off it. So um, yeah, there isn't that like pressure that's stuck in the room that everyone's like, oh, we have to, we have to like deliver this, this thing. Because essentially it should be fun. It should be creative. So if there's a block, it's that's like, I think like an alarm bell to kind of move on or change your environment or um, maybe just like as well lyrically to just say it exactly how you mean it even if it's not the way that you want to write it um, like if you want to write it a bit more metaphorically then that's fine but like it's, it's always better just to talk about exactly what you mean and if you're not sure what you mean then then just keep going around other concepts or move your environment or uh, I just think it's like so I always used to get like really really stuck and then be like oh I'm a shit writer I can't do this da, 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 da. but it's uh, you still get that like you, you, you always get that and I'm sure I will always get that. You're influenced by a million different things all at once and um, I think maybe those combination of things are the unique thing that that's what makes you you know be a product of all of the things that you've absorbed as well as like what you've kind of experienced in your life like whether like all of these different things so I think all of all of that in one is is your kind of identity and you can put that in your aesthetic but I think it has to be it has to feel right it has to feel really honest and sometimes you don't get that at first like I, I, I like I've been through so many different sounds and so many different like, oh, I should dress like this, or I feel like this, this and this. But 
as long as it's like true to you at the time, then I think like, then you can't really, because otherwise you're, you're searching, oh, well, who am I really? Like not putting yourself in this box where you're like, oh, if I, if I'm not writing every day, then I feel really guilty. Like, no, you have to live to like actually write about things and be honest about things. Otherwise what you're just like writing about an idea, you're not writing about from like experience, so.